Today, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouch set and the envelope set from Dress Up Your Purse. This video is a collaboration with my dear, very best YouTube friend, Yota Style. I will have her video linked below, so please make sure you go check it out. I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with her. And I know what she's doing, but it's a surprise, so you'll have to go over to her channel to see what we're collaborating on. So check that out, but after you watch my video right now, stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury bags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. One of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Like I said, collaboration with Yota Style. Go check that out after this video. Today we have a comparison between the Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouches and the very similar Dress Up Your Purse envelope pouches. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, well I've seen the Dress Up Your Purse pouches on Autumn's channel before, but I've never seen the Kirigami pouches. Did she just buy those? Has she had them and not told us? Now the pouch set, and I do have all three here, the Louis Vuitton version does not belong to me. A friend of mine had it and very kindly, generously let me borrow it to do this wonderful comparison of the two items for you. I have several of these Dress Up Your Purse pouches. I have two sets of three, these two, which both just look like black leather, but they're actually black leather and black vachetta, which of course is leather, but it is smooth and dyed. Both of those sets have the two other sizes inside. This one also has a little organizer inside. I think Melody sells those on her website. Of course, Dress Up Your Purse will be linked below along with my discount code, so if you see anything you like, please make sure that you check that out. In addition to those two sets, I have these two pouches in Vachetta and these two pouches in different blue leathers. We will look at those in more detail later, but first, we're gonna see what's in this bag. Melody sent this to me from Dress Up Your Purse. It comes in a dust bag and it even has my name on it. I didn't know what this was. Was, so I opened the envelope and I peeked into the pouch. When I realized it was from Dress Up Your Purse, I saved it to share with you guys. So I don't really know what's in here. I have an idea of a couple things. Let's see. First, oh how nice. It's a little keychain. Looks like this. It's two pieces of blue leather that's smooth on this side and it has a darker blue texture on that side. And then when you turn it around, it's the same two colors. That one says dress up your purse and then Melody put a little silver A on here for me. She does do hot stamping, so if you have a piece that you're interested in having hot stamped that you want to purchase from her, then just make sure you ask her about that. I love her little tassel. I have these in almost every color she offers. This is in the blue, and I bet, yep, it has that light blue on the other side. Super cute. I think she sent me all blue stuff, which is great because I really like it. Ooh, I'm feeling something very familiar. How appropriate for this video. It is another little pouch. So now I have these three. I love the blue pouches and these look so pretty together. Love, love, love. And it has that smooth light blue inside. And I believe there is just one more thing in here. Yes, there is. And this is a new item that she just started offering see here. Nice. This is really pretty. Okay, this is a passport holder and this is actually nicer than I was expecting it to be as far as the feel of the leather. Honestly, what it's reminding me of is my blue Hermes leather notebook cover. It's just that squishy leather. There's nothing else kind of getting in the way. There's nothing making it stiff. It's just smushy and beautiful. This one is the darker textured blue on the outside. This looks like that on the the outside and then the interior looks like this. It has the raw leather here, so the suede, and then the lighter blue inside. It looks like it has two card slots and then a pocket here and then two pockets there to secure your passport. And she also stamped it with a silver A for me. It is nice to be able to have things personalized like that. Looks like the interior of the pockets are the raw leather too, so it is not too thick and bulky and that's a really nice thing about it. Some passport holders are stiff and they just take up too much space and often when you're traveling you're really trying to save space and not add a lot of weight. This is 
fabulous for that. I give it a recommend. All right, let's move on to the Kirigami pouches since that's why you're here. Let's start with the large pouch and the exterior of those. I think you can tell they're the same size. There is not really a size difference here. Even if the Vuitton one looks a little wider, it's not because they both squash down. Here are the two medium sizes. Side by side, you can tell they're the same height and the same length, also the same width, or squishable, so it doesn't really matter, and the two small sizes. In this case, the Dress Up Your Purse one is a little bit bigger on both lengths, just a little bit, but both fit cards really well. That's what I use these for. The only difference is I'm noticing on the construction of the exterior of these pouches is that the point here on the Louis Vuitton is a bit curved, whereas the one on Dress Up Your Purse is more pointed. The button on the Louis Vuitton has Louis Vuitton engraved in it, and it's a flat metal button. By the way, so glad they did metal buttons on those instead of the leather colored ones that peel off. The dress up your purse button is rounded. The other difference I'm noting is on these bottom corners here, the Louis Vuitton one is attached at that corner. You get sewn at the side here, the sewing stops right there, and then it's open there, and then it's just folded around at the bottom. The dress up your purse one is sewn along this edge where the Louis Vuitton is not. So your things might even be a little bit more secure in the dress up your purse. Like if you had coins or something small and flat, they could potentially work their way out of the Louis Vuitton piece or something could get in whereas it doesn't look like that would happen with the dress up your purse pouches and here's something interesting I've never noticed this and I don't know if anybody else has ever pointed it out in a video surely I'm not the first one but on the large pouch it is sewn right here on this triangle on the bottom triangle same thing on this large pouch from dress up your purse however on the medium size it's not sewn there it's open on the small size it's not sewn it's open and it's also open on the dress up your purse pieces interesting I wonder what that design choice was about maybe with the large size having that open is just not secure enough maybe things just fly out but in the smaller size it does doesn't matter so much. I don't know. It's interesting. Of course, the back of the pouches are plain. There's nothing going on there, so we're not talking about that. Here's the inside of the large pouch from Louis Vuitton. You can see the snap there. You can see the flaps, how they're sewn. You can also see inside the top flap, it's stamped Louis Vuitton Paris. This one is made in France. And if you look closely, you can see that the leather is scored here. There are three lines that go all the way across, and that would be to help the bag fold and probably to prevent some wrinkles in that area and maybe some wear over time. The dress up your purse pouch looks pretty much the same inside and this is an older one that stamped Nelly Z which is what this brand used to be. Let's see. This is the newer Vachetta pouch. It's not stamped. This latest pouch that I just got is imprinted with dress up your purse. That's the small one. This pouch has dress up your purse in gold on the back. This one has it stamped inside. The pouches from dress up your purse do not have those scores but there's also I don't feel any difference in how they open or close compared to Louis Vuitton pouch. I will say that the canvas here does feel a little more pliable than this leather which is also pliable but feels a little bit stiffer. I really don't think that would affect the use at all or the wear over time. The Kirigami pouches from Louis Vuitton are just the pouches. They don't come with anything else. The dress up your purse pouches though do have some accessories. If you buy one of the sets that has all three pouches which by the way as far as I can tell right now on the website that's the only way to get the large size is to buy all three together but the large size you see it comes with D rings on it and it also comes in addition to the two other pouches with a crossbody chain which I do not have in front of me but it comes with one and I want to say it might come with a little tassel or some sort of key ring too but I could be wrong about that just check the listings on Melody's page. It's linked below. The medium sized pouch, at least some of them, come with this little hardware attached. We have a clip. You can clip it to your bag as a bag charm or inside your bag to a D-ring just to keep it handy and it has a little key ring attached. And all of the small size ones that I've seen also come with a clip and a key ring. And the small size ones that you buy individually come with a clip and key ring as well. But with the sets, at least the two sets that I have, the medium size does not come with a key ring or a clip, but the textured black leather, which is a cream color on the inside, 
And this is one of the original sets that she ever sold. This one does not have a clip, at least the older one that I got. Maybe that's been changed by now, I'm not sure. But the Vachetta one does have the clip and chain, and this came with the set. And I can tell you it is very handy to have that little clip on there. I never use the keychain personally, but I bet some people would use it for their keys. That'd be great. I love this small size as card holders, and it's especially helpful to be able to clip it on the outside of your bag if you don't have if you don't want to get inside your bag or if you have a speedy or a never full or some other black hole kind of bag very handy to clip on the d-ring inside so it's easily accessible and though the louis vuitton pouches do not come with a chain there are third-party crossbody kits you can buy that have organizers or they'll have some way to attach a chain or you can just take a chain. This isn't the most secure thing to do, but you can just take a chain, clip it to itself, and loop it through here. So when you've got it closed, it's hanging from the chain on either side, but then when you open it, it could slip off. So just be careful if you try that. The Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouches come in a variety of different patterns. As far as materials, they only come in coated canvas and epi leather so far, or at least that's all I've seen. Primarily, they have the monogram, but they also have of Kirigami sets released in several of their more recent collections. For example, the By the Pool collection, the Escale collection, the Catagram collection, and the Game On collection. You can get Kirigami pouches in all of those. The Dress Up Your Purse pouches, as you've seen, come in different leathers, different colored leathers, vachetta, both dyed and undyed, and lots of colors and textures. These are two textured leathers. This is a pearlescent lambskin. It's really beautiful. It's gold on the inside. She also has a dream collection that's kind of like that Chanel rainbow metallic collection. And there's a new PVC one that I've seen in the small size, which would be great to have by the pool or the beach. The Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouches you can only buy as a complete set from Louis Vuitton. You can't buy any of the pouches individually. The dress up your purse pouches you absolutely can buy individually. Like I said, I think the large is only available in sets, but she does have a few mediums and quite a few different options in the small size that you can buy individually. The retail price on the Louis Vuitton Kirigami pouches is $745. Compare that to the set from Dress up your purse for only $69. The medium pouch is $42 and the small pouches are only $32 each. Of course you can get any of those pieces for less with my discount code which is linked below. Now you can find the Louis Vuitton pouches sold separately pre-loved. That's the only way to get them separately. However you're going to pay a premium for them. Before I filmed this video I checked Fashion File. The small size starts at $325. The cheapest medium size one I found was the same 325 and the cheapest large pouch I found was 615 now add 140 dollars to that and you have the whole set and of course the limited edition collection ones are astronomically higher for example the by the pool set all three of them I think it was around 12 or 1300 dollars to almost double retail if you are interested in purchasing the kirigami pouches and you can't find them on the website or you just want to get them directly from a store i will link my sales associates information in the description box below her name is becca she's at the houston galleria the main store and she would be happy to help you i'll link her phone number so you can text her about this or anything else your heart may desire from louis vuitton by the way i was there a couple weeks ago and they have some new bags you know they're shopping bags and Seats. This is like a saffron color, I think is what they call it. They have handbags in this color now. They are beautiful. And then the interior is this royal blue. It's the color, I don't have a bag in front of me, but it's the color of the shopping handles. They're beautiful. Expensive, of course. Our store, if you are looking for something that's hard to find, our store gets a lot of that stuff in. I swear almost every time I go in there and I've heard about something that's difficult to find, they have it. So I'll put her phone number below. You can text her and she would be happy to help you if she can. Something she can't get. Most of the time she can find things for you. Thank you so much to my friend who let me borrow her Louis Vuitton pouches so I could finally do this comparison. I have wanted to do this for so long. I have to say personally, the dress up your purse ones are my favorite. Price point is so much better. They're more versatile because they have the D-rings attached. These aren't really D-rings, they're circular. The little clips are just, that really makes it for me. I love that. Plus all the options for the different colors and everything and the different materials. 
My favorite of all the ones that I have is this lambskin. It is just so soft and supple, beautiful. I recommend it. I recommend any of these. I do also have a video if you don't know how to use these. I have a video and I will link it below of all kinds of ways that you can use all three of these different size pouches. There's some really creative stuff in there, I think. So be sure to check that out as well, especially if you're interested in these pieces because they, like the Louis Vuitton ones, for Louis Vuitton, it's really a pretty good deal to get three pouches for $745, right? And to make a nice gift too. But if you don't know what to do with them, watch that video, get some ideas, be inspired, and you can run out and get some. All right, be sure to go watch Yota Styles' video right after this one, or I should have said this in the beginning if you're coming here from her channel thank you and welcome thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it i hope to see you back here next time i hope you and your loved ones are doing well and i hope you have a fantastic day bye